I hope y'all are excited as I am, man. Y'all gonna be tired of me, man. I'm like, damn, D dropped too many videos. <laughs> but anyway, after I got done making my video for the night, I was just chilling, right? Uh, cleared 450 in uh, the abyss, which I'll do in another video. But I find out we're getting not one new hero, but two of them. And I'm gonna talk to you guys about those new heroes today. I'm so happy that I saved my bookmarks. But anyway. So new heroes Dn and Basque have arrived. Uh, Azina Saint Dn, the recipient of the Goddess of Revelation and the leader who brought Orbis to people, is here. Say hello to the girl who would become the queen of the Zera. Now, I feel like that would be a good lead-in to watch the video, but I don't want you guys to go and watch this for yourself. I'll post the link below. I haven't watched it yet, you know, but we'll... You know, we'll, we'll watch it after the video. We're going to talk about the skills and stuff first. So anyway, so hero background, Dian Saint of Ezera received the goddess's divine revelation and fearlessly led the world to victory against the archdemon, uh, even without the heir of the covenant. Later, she became Ezera's queen. Now, uh, her specialty, she overcomes hardship through her pious faith, deeply pious faith, okay? She's a five star. Mm-hmm. Cookies. Yes, five star. And her skills, uh, Dian Saint... Uh, Ezra is a ice type soul weaver um, that protects her allies through the use of buffs and barriers. So another soul weaver, guys. Um, so her first skill, Light of Judgment, emits a ray of brilliant light, increasing the caster's combat readiness by 10%. Effect doubles when caster is buffed. So if she's buffed at all, uh, she increases her combat readiness by two turns every time. It's uh, her first skill is her active cooldown. So boom, zero. Uh, Blessings of Goddesses skill too, with the Blessings of the Goddess covers all allies with a barrier for two turns before dispelling one debuff. Uh, barrier strength increases proportional to the target's max health. So she has a shield slash cleanse. Freaking OP and scales with HP, which is going to be pretty sick, okay? Um, her third skill, active cooldown 5, enhanced cooldown goes down to 4, sorry, and her second skill goes down to 3. A Miracle of Goddess manifests, increasing attack of all allies for 3 turns. Before increasing the caster's combat readiness by 50%. <laughs> After awakening a miracle of goddess manifest, increasing attack and critical resistance of all allies for three turns before increases. <laughs> She's busted strong. Okay, so she has an attack buff. Get this. Attack buff, barrier, and resistance to crit. And she's ice left. <laughs> Dude. It, it, it's over. It's over. Now... It's it's over. Okay, hold on. Let me just scroll up here. Does it show her stats? It doesn't show her stats yet, so I don't know if she's going to be fast, slow, uh, and that's ultimately going to depend. But to be honest, guys, the reality is is you just want her to get as many turns as possible, period. As many turns as possible, period. Have her super fast. If you guys want to run, um, you know, like a slow, maybe a second turn, like AD or something, like you can run her a little bit slow, just super tanky with, with other units, but... This, this shoot's ridiculous. Honestly, I would just capitalize on, on maximum speed, as much HP, defense, resistance as you can. Um, because, you know, she's not really applying any negative effects at all. She's just there literally as a pure support. Uh, for this unit, like, look guys, she's going to be dope, dude. So for those of you guys who pull her, I don't know if they're going to do a banner for her or not. But, dude, she's, she's crazy. Crazy good. Crazy good. Crazy good. That 50% combat readiness increase plus the skill... Oh. Dumb. I don't even want to talk about it. Anyway, so Bass received the hero Bass by playing the side story uh, for Eulogy of a Saint. So this unit will all be able to get uh, as a hero background. So like Bass to me looks like the traditional like RPG hero, straight up. Like he looks like like he looks like he should have been where Raz was, right? Like this is the dude that becomes like the cool ultimate powerful guy, uh, you know, throughout history. Okay, so listen. He looks pretty cool. So anyway, with no particular religious faith and wishing solely to become stronger, he joined the Order of the Sword. Uh, his only goal is to have his name remembered by future generations as a powerful knight, and he cannot understand anyone who dies in the service of faith or personal beliefs. Okay? Um, sounds pretty good, man. Uh, sounds pretty good. Uh, so Basque is the ice type knight, also ice hero that specializes in decreasing attack strength of the enemy as well as dispelling their buffs with his skill shield blow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so his first skill, Protective Strike, slashes with the sword with a 50% chance to de decrease attack uh, for one turn. Uh, damage dealt increases proportional to max health. Okay, so Bruiser right out the gate. Um, and you'll want some effectiveness on him just so you can get that uh, that um, Protective Strike. Uh, excuse me, that attack rate. His second skill, Shield Blow, attacks with the shield with an 85% chance to dispel all buffs 
Damage dealt increases proportionally to the caster's max health. Again, another bruiser. Um, because two skills now scale with max health, um, he, there's a variety of ways you can build them. Now, before awakening, covers all allies with the will of protection, granting immunity for three turns. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. And after awakening, covers all allies with the will of protection, granting immunity for three turns. Before granting a barrier to the caster for three turns, barrier strength increases proportion. Oh my god, dude. These units are busted. Like, that's... Oh my god. Listen, guys. This is what I need you guys to really understand. If this unit is anything above 100 speed, be prepared to run into this unit in arena all the time, on defense, all the time. Why? Because they're going to position him fast, he's going to buff shield and immunity, and you're just going to have to deal with that. And what's going to happen is he's going to create an opportunity for players to now create those second turns. Uh, the, those, those second turn uh, arena offenses, meaning will literally build an arena offense slower. So we go second, however, he'll be fast, he'll go, he'll use his shield and his immunity, will be immune to all of your effects, and then we'll just hang out. <laughs> You will let you burn all of your cooldowns, and then we'll just smash the hell out of your AO. So, listen, um, be very, very cognizant of this unit. The Nat 5 is strong. The Nat 3 is very strong, okay? Well, I mean, the Nat, they're both very strong, to be honest. Um, but this, this is, this is going to be huge, okay? This is, this is, this is going to be really, really huge. Um, it doesn't look like he gets a cooldown reduction, and makes sense, naturally so, because that skill is just OP, uh, to be honest, uh, but this unit is going to be able to be used pretty much anywhere. Banshee, he's going to crush Banshee. Honestly, if you need a tank immunity with shield, Banshee is going to be OP there. OP and Wyvern, if you're trying to run a tank there, although later on, probably in 10, you'll be running full damage anyway. Uh, however, with this unit, you got a couple of options. You can run a super fast support, like a speed HP HP, uh, triple HP build if your speed substats are high enough. Again, if you're running like a second turn, uh, if you plan on going second, if you're building your team slow because you know you can stand the brunt of the damage, uh, then you can build them a little bit slower. Um, if you're running like a triple HP build or HP HP defense build, um, you know, on your, uh, your ring, your necklace, and your boots, um, or, or, or if you want to go for damage, I don't know if I would recommend this with, with him, but you can run him like a crit damage neck uh, with a double HP build uh, with super high crit weight rate if you're trying to go like outside the box and just mash out and go damage. So again, I feel like his primary purpose in life is annoyance. And to be honest with his kit, he sounds better than most tanks in the game. <laughs> like straight up. Um, for for support purposes, um, like he is the truest sense of the word tank um, so far in this game, and we all get him. So be prepared, guys. Be prepared. Uh, hopefully he's slow. Hopefully he's like 90 speed. Then you won't see him as much. But if he's above 100 speed, be prepared. Just just letting y'all know right now because it's gonna get crazy. All right. Um, so anyway, so new artifact um, and memory imprint item have been added. A new artifact and in and a use, wait, and an item, excuse me, sorry, I can't read today. Used exclusively to memory imprint. Uh, the three star hero bass have been added. Your noble vow looks like uh, it as health decreases, defense and effect res resistance increases up to 25%. Okay. <laughs> um, that's a knight exclusive, though. That's pretty annoying. That's going to be OP pretty much on any knight character class. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, and then looks like we got an uh, old pocket watch here that increases, I'm assuming that's for, um, for what's-his-face, uh, to get him to triple S, right? I'm assuming, maybe? I don't know. We'll have to find out. So anyway, DN drop rate up. Okay, so we do get a banner. Uh, during the event, players will have a higher chance of, uh, to summon DN. Uh, please note that DN is only available in limited summon during her limited summon banner. Yeah, okay, you guys got that. Uh, the maintenance is happening at 11.59 KST, and, uh, yeah, okay, a guaranteed summon, wait, wait, guaranteed summon system, the guaranteed summon system will apply to this limited summon banner, each time a player summons a hero, the counter will decrease by one, starting at 120, if the player has not received the limited summon hero, after 120 summons, the next summon is guaranteed to give the limited summon hero. If the player receives this hero before reaching 120 summons, the counter will be reset. 
All right, so they just basically guaranteed everybody the best healer in the game. No, I'm just kidding. But no, seriously. Seriously, though. Yeah. Um, all right, so so two things here uh, before we get into the rest of this. The thing that scares me about this is, um, A, these heroes are going to be everywhere. They're really, really strong. Um, so what that's going to force players, us, to do is now look for counters. Um, so any kind of strippers or people that AOE beneficial effect removal, things like that, are going to start to become really, really important. Um, because now everybody it literally is going to have these units except for players that come in after this, okay? Uh, because she is a limited summon, right? Uh, you know, unless they pull her on this thing, right? So legit, everybody's going to have these heroes. So you can expect double barrier comps, double immunity comps. Like, it, it's going to get stupid. So um, strippers are going to be really, really important, okay? And units that ignore defense uh, are also going to be really, really important uh, more so. Uh, you can expect this to be the first solid meta, but um, another thing is normally when units and changes happen this big, uh, normally is a signifier that new content is coming that is typically going to be more difficult than what we've experienced um, because these seem like prep heroes, okay? Like prep, let's prepare you for what's to come so you're not crying about how difficult the content is. Uh, so I'd be cognizant of that too, okay? So... Just a heads up, remember I told you guys here that this happened, all right? So special side story, um, we got some stuff, we got some, let's see, what are the rewards here? Uh, following heroes will receive benefits when you use these two. Uh, during the first two weeks, players will be able to clear 119, side story changes, hold on. Uh, lock quest, what do we get? Uh, charms looks like, uh, try out the lock quest. Defense stages, event currency charms okay here we go uh so exchange highs and wagon grass looks like a variety old pocket watch uh you can get up to three of them um ancient creature nucleus blood flake bone strange jelly mulligora seeds giga phantasma so it looks like some catalyst uh giga phantasma is gonna be real good um we got some frost runes uh accessory chest covenant bookmarks artifact charms yeah yeah this this is gonna be a real good event uh looks like there's a bunch of stuff uh again like you guys can kind of look over this uh, you know, on your own. Again, I'll post the link here. Uh, and then Reputation. We get a bunch of leaves, some transmit stones, a bunch of charms, more covenant bookmarks, and a gold, one gold transmit storm, uh, storm, stone once everything is, is finished. I see content balancing. Cost was re reduced. Wait, what? Enhancement cost. Oh. Okay, treasure chests, hold on, time out. Treasure chests and golden chests from Goblin Gate now drop event currencies. Um, T2, T3 from Goblin Gate players receive it. Okay, yeah, we don't care about that. Um, okay, so enhancement cost has been reduced by 40%. Wow. Okay, so they've cut equipment enhanced costs by a lot. So it's going to be a lot less expensive to now plus gear. Um, that's so awesome, guys. That's so awesome. Okay, um, the drop method for Ancient Coins and Labyrinth has changed. Um, so now, before, in battle, and in treasure chests, piles of Ancient Coins would appear according uh, to a certain schedule, right? Uh, there was a chance that Ancient Coins could be obtained uh, by battle in addition to finding them in treasure chests and piles of stones, right? Now, uh, you can obtain an estimate of the probability of battle. So, and the chances of getting normal equipment and Labyrinth equipment increase dramatically. Uh, the increase rate is proportional to the previous drop rate of Ancient Coins. So now you're going to get gear more consistently since we only get a limited amount of entries. So it's cool. So the number of treasure chests and piles of stones has been changed from 25 to 20, right? Because the gear improved. Uh, with these changes, players will get uh, more consistent amounts of rewards and will receive more labyrinth equipment and ancient coins by exploring the labyrinth. Um, players express frequent dissatisfaction regarding inconsistent amounts of rewards, especially yes, it's true because sometimes you get like 150, other, other times you might get only like 25. It was stupid. Um, especially in some ancient coins, so we're making the change below. Um, so Terrell Castle and Chaos, Zone 1, uh, per zone you get a certain amount of ancient coins, looks like, which is cool. Next to Sanctums, you get 15 um, per zone, so that's cool. Um, that's awesome. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that change. Uh, so there's an issue when Ravi used her skill slaughter against certain monsters she would attack too closely. It has been fixed. Uh, Kiki Rod's Gatling Gums fixed. Artifact. 
Let's see, battle, they show properly. I'm just I'm just like kind of skimming through these just to make sure. Um Okay, they fix Chloe, Arena, Guild. Cecilia's been added to Covenant Summons. And five star hero Cecilia has been added to various summon tickets. Alright. Okay, uh I mean that I mean that's pretty much it. I mean this is a sick patch, guys. We got two OP heroes. They introduced a guaranteed summon system for the limited summon. So if you do 127 summons within, you know, two weeks or whatever, I mean, some people will probably do that. I'm summoning. <laughs> um, um, and listen, guys, even if you don't get the Nat 5, honestly, the three-star knight is stupid dumb good. Like, he's he's ridiculous. You might as well just retire all your tanks. I'm just kidding. I mean, you don't have to retire your tanks, but in terms of, like, a stall tank, he is sick like you can expect him to be on my arena defense no matter what like i promise you if i pull him he's going on my arena defense and i'm trying to annoy the heck out of people in until oblivion right so but anyway let me know what you guys think about these heroes um they i don't know if they'll get nerfed but they're strong they're really strong oh my god <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about these heroes uh, and these changes in the patch. Again, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like I said, I'll put the link in the box below. Um, and with that being said, man, we'll see you guys on tomorrow's stream or in the next video. Peace.